William Smith, you were born on March 23rd, 1769 in Churchill, North Oxfordshire. Your father, John, was the blacksmith and your mother was Anne. Tell us about your education. Well, it was just the village school, the three R's, reading, writing, arithmetic, nothing fancy. I went until I was 11. So just primary school? How did you manage to draw up such a major academic work? I was interested. And that's it? In 1791, I walked all the way to High Littleton near Bath to survey an estate. That's where it gripped me. The layers, the strata. I had so many questions. How did these formations come to be? Was there any pattern, meaning in the arrangement? I had to find the answer. In 1795, I was working on the Somerset Coal Canal. On that route, there were two valleys just a couple of miles apart. I was able to compare the strata in one valley with the other, which helped me produce my listings of the strata of the Bath area. Surely you must have won your medal for that. No, but I was busy surveying and hunting for coal, and I did start making notes of my observations and collecting fossils. Ah, so that was the start. Yes. Unfortunately, in 1799 I was sacked over, uh, well, disagreements about how the canal should be constructed. I set up business with a fellow land surveyor, Jeremiah Cruz, and travelled the country working as a land surveyor, coal hunter, and drainage engineer. I walked an average of 10,000 miles a year. I also made my first collection of fossils arranged by their strata. I didn't earn much, but I did add a lot of detail to the listings which would eventually create my geological map. In fact, I first attempted to raise the money to publish it in 1805. I only needed £50. Pounds. That's not much. It was in those days, and I was not successful. I did, however, manage to publish my book on water meadows. Well, that's good. I didn't make any money. Did anything go right for you? Not just yet. They were making fun of me at the Geological Society of London, and being mean to anyone who supported my ideas. Then even worse, my sister and her husband both died in 1808. I hope things started to look up for you soon. The best part is that I took in their son, John Phillips. He became my assistant and later managed my papers and my legacy. He was a good lad. He became Professor of Geology at Oxford in 1860 and President of the British Association for the Advancement of Science in 1864. Here he is now. John Phillips, tell me, what was your uncle like? Hmm. He was quite thoughtful. A big man physically. He was kind to me. But we had some difficult times. When I went to live with my Uncle William and Aunt Mary... Ah, yes, his wife who ended up in an asylum. He was married in 1808. Tell me about that. I can't, I'm afraid. I don't know where he got married, or when exactly. I don't even know how they met. His diary for that year is missing, and they never spoke about it. What was she like? I wasn't keen. After my uncle died, she ended up in the lunatic asylum in New York. Wow. Hang on! Women could be put in asylums for all sorts of things in those days. I'm not mad, I tell you. I'm just... Wow. Indeed. But to return to Uncle William, his map was finally published at last in August 1815. And then everyone recognised what he had achieved and everything was fine. No, not at all. You recall my uncle told you that he had ended up in prison. Oh, yes. Well, that hasn't happened yet, has it? No. Then, shall we move along to the next televisual display? Uncle William can tell you about it there. You know, these things really are quite marvellous, aren't they? <laughs>